Hi guys, this was a gift for my friend for their fanfic, which I will be linking in the description. <laughs> this took me two hours, and um, I was originally planning on doing this as like just one image and not paneled like this. But um, the sketches I did, I was like, oh, well, I can just manipulate them into fitting, and then none of it looked right when I did that, so I just didn't. <laughs> so basically what's happening here is, like i'm not going to explain the entire plot to you because i want you to go read the fanfic yourself um just go support my friend on ao3 um and bas basically basically um mumbo and green both have huge crushes on each other and in order to make the other one jealous they're fake dating scar and in this particular bit scar has tricked both of them into showing up to a romantic date so, I, I actually taught myself how to draw wings properly for this. <laughs> this is a good exercise in bird anatomy. <laughs> so, most of the speed paint is drawing foreground and background elements. Like, the food. Like, I, I was very much originally just going to leave the table empty, but then I was like, no, that's stupid. I gotta put food on the table. Otherwise, what's the point of throwing the table in the first place? So, I drew the foods that were depicted in the fic. Although, I'm the beta reader, so I had access to that stuff be long before the fic came out. Um, I think Scar built them a little gazebo. So, I googled gazebo and tried to figure out how to draw that. I wasn't really able to keep it in Minecraft terms, but... Yeah, <laughs> that's really hard when I draw with round shapes. So, one thing I hate about using Minecraft skins to color is because, I don't know, they always seem like washed out or, you know, like off and not how I would imagine the character. So I have to do like a lot of color mixing, usually. Like, it was more obvious here with um, Mumbo and Scar. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to do with, well, Scar Scar, so I just drew squiggly lines and hoped that worked. I'm so sorry to anyone who actually has scars. I, I hope that's not too bad. <laughs> I pulled images off of Google for the food, because I don't usually draw food, so I don't really know how to make that look accurate. And then I went in and I added Minecraft texturing to the wood because I, I gotta make it look like it's at least a little Minecrafty, you know? Because <laughs> I've kind of failed to do that thus far. I, I hope you guys are liking the zoom-ins here. I, um, I thought they would help focus your attention on one part since there's a lot going on here. <laughs> I say at a part where there are no zoom-ins. <laughs> um, probably... What took me the longest was the backgrounds, honestly. Because I had to go find a reference image to get the colors for the background off of, and then I had to draw in all the trees and make sure they weren't, like, you know, make sure they were well spaced and, you know, make sure it looked Minecrafty, which is a lot harder than you would think when you're not drawing in a blocky art style. <laughs> so, like, I had to go. I had to keep going back to my reference image and color picking and um, I used a pointillism brush to get a lot of the minecrafty texturing on the trees and stuff. And honestly, the pointillism brush saved me from having to draw in all those lines myself, which mm, thank, thank you pointillism brush. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the background took a long time. I added flowers because it was specifically specified that there were lots of flowers. And I went pretty heavy on the lighting. For shading, I just inverted the color I used for lighting. And I added little text blurbs since it was already set up like a comic. I might as well have words. <laughs> and yeah, that is pretty much it. Go check out the fic, please. It's so good. My friend is such a good writer. Go look at it. Give them kudos. They deserve it very much so. <laughs>